Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at this brand new tangle called Havasu from Debbie Monero. Now, we premiered this today. Today's Thursday, so that means it's Tangle Time Day. And uh, where we do, I do uh, two live uh, sessions, uh, 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. I'm in Michigan. And um, so uh, Debbie is part of uh, my Tangle Addicts community, and she posted on our Facebook group this uh, Tangle she came up with, and I was like, well, we have to, we have to feature that. And so we did and had a lot of fun with it. And um, it's just, it's so much fun to, to play with a, you know, a new Tangle, especially, to, yeah, something new, hot off the presses. And, 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 you know, we have the person that created it right with us amongst us and it's so much fun all right this one it could be a border tangle and uh or or you can use it you can kind of stack them and and, and fill it in uh or use it like as a fill in uh, but we're gonna just you we're gonna i'm gonna do it diagonally here and so it starts off with x's so wherever you want it to go and also it doesn't have to be in a straight line if you don't want it to go in a straight line and my aim is always to get my X's to look uniform without uh, you know, any guides and stuff like that, just eyeballing it. And what's extra nice about this is that it is rather forgiving. So, so that way we don't have to worry about that. All right, so once you have your X's in, uh, you know, however you want them, then we're going to aura each side. And... Uh, if you don't know what auraing is, if you're if you see here, it's basically outlining. So you pick a distance. I've decided apparently that my distance is going to be rather um, narrow, <laughs> and then to keep that up is the name of the game. And sometimes it happens, and sometimes it doesn't, and we just don't worry about it. We just keep going. And one thing that we like to do in Zentangle is turn the tile. So I'm keeping my hand in the same place and then just turning the tile as need be. Also, uh, when auraing, just a tip. So if you see, so this is the line of auraing. Let me, I'll just start right here. And the pen is underneath the line. Now, sometimes there, there are certain circumstances where I just... And it's usually with curves where I just don't seem to be able to avoid um, doing doing it this way. So I'll just show you. And it's not that it's a big deal. It's just the pen is kind of covering the line that you're auraing. And it's just nice to be able to see. So I just like to point that out. So if you find yourself being at all frustrated, kind of some things to check. It's like, well, how does my hand feel okay? Am I, you know, so you're not contorting it or doing anything weird. We're moving the paper so that way this can stay nice and steady and we just don't have to think about it too much. And after a while, it just becomes, you know, second nature, and, you know, and I, and where we're, you're just turning it and we're not thinking about it anymore. And, um, and then also, you know, you know, where is your pen in relation to, you know, is, is it hard to see or whatever? So just some things to, to check if you're feeling like, Ah, this just doesn't feel right. Okay, then next up, I'm going to go from these middle points. So right where these, uh, you know, the middle of the X, and right where we aurad, and I'm going from point to point, and that's just, and I'm going to take this right off, and then. We're going to do the top and the bottom. And so this is, of course, from the, the lines that we just made, those aura lines. And if you need to, like I just did, mine, I need to work on, my work on this one is I need to work at, at making my ends, I want to say, more consistent. So like here, they kind of go out, but I could, I could expand them. This is nice, but it's, it's cut to the side. I just... Maybe need to decide. Well, how do I want them to be? Do I want them to be like as if, as if I had a line down here, or I don't know. 
anyway, there's always something to think about for the next time. But basically, we're you know we're just connecting those lines, which is nice. And I had mentioned that it's a nice and forgiving tangle, and that's one of the ways it is. Because if you're just going, I'm going from this point to this point. Don't worry about if it's if it's straight or anything. Don't we're not really shouldn't be thinking about the overall look as we're doing it. We're just thinking steps and focusing on the one step at a time. So when you have that done, oh, and then two, you'll find at the end, sometimes it just really doesn't matter and it ends up looking really neat anyway. So why even go there, right? All right, so we have these nice big spaces and we're going to divide those in half or close to it with just another straight line. And you could do like all the top and then, you know, all the bottom, it, you know, completely up to you. All right. Then, and this is kind of like the decorating of it, is um, we're just going to put some some boxes. This one's going to essentially be a rectangle, but if you think of it of two, two boxes stacked on top of each other, I'm just going to do them and then fill them in afterwards and we're putting this right at the side of the x so we're going uh around that middle line so the middle line and then you know the one above and one below if my x's are plenty good i can kind of you know start in one at one and have it like touching and go to the other side but some of them not so much. So it's kind of like, well, maybe if I stay a little bit away, that's okay. And then I'm going to fill this in. Now, if you would like to see some of the work that we did on the tangle time, because there, there were some really neat things. So some people didn't fill these in. Um, some did some like different, a little bit different configuration. And if you'd like to see that, it'll probably be within the next couple of days, I will get out what I call the recap. It's essentially a blog post. And I put all of our screenshots uh, from both sessions and then um, close-ups of the pictures. If I, you know, if, if people send them in to me or I get them from our Facebook or group or, you know, on Instagram or something. And you can, you can get that automatically by going to my website, which is in the description section, tangleaddicts.com. And uh, on the right hand side, you'll see where it says uh, follow me or something. And that will follow my blog. And then you'll get it as soon as I put it out there. But it, it, we have a lot of fun just exploring and um, it's really neat to see what everybody does. Because you, 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 know, you, you have the step out and you do the step out and then Put, you, everybody puts their, their little spin on it or gets a creative notion and, and, and does something a little bit different and accentuates it. And it's just really, really cool. All right, so once you have these on the side, then we're going to put one box in the center, so in, in between the, the top row and the bottom. And uh, because I've, I've done this, you know, where I've kind of gone off the side here, I just have to imagine how long that would be and do my best guesstimate and fill in like so. And I'm going to fill these in also. One nice thing about putting the lines in first and then filling in afterwards is, and to, if you put them in a little smaller than you think, you might want them then you can kind of adjust a little bit if need be with uh, what I call uh, that's the great course correction <laughs> is the fill-in as long as you, as long as you can make it bigger and that will solve you know whatever you're not liking then it'll help okay so once we have that then in in the in the very middle we're just going to put an additional little kind of free-floating little X like this which is nice because it just it kind of ties everything all together. This one we're gonna say that one would have a little partial there, and this one two. And that is essentially it. Now, <clears throat> there are some other things that you could do, um, and I'll let's say I'll put um, a link 
under the For More Inspiration that will have Debbie step out as well as uh, some information about you know her inspiration for creating this tangle. Um, and one of the things that she did, oh, actually, why don't I just go ahead and do it? I'm gonna, just going to put, she had put like just a line. You could fill this in. Um, I have another sample where I I did an additional oral. Yeah, that's, see, that's kind of neat. Um, this one, I did a, an additional aura and filled it in, and that has a neat look. This one, I decided I wanted to try shading the X, so I just put a, a bit of graphite in the center and expanded it out, and, you know, and it, it has a different look. Now, here's what we were playing with uh, today. This one, just so I can show, we um, I decided to do shading on the outside of the X's. So that way it makes it look like this is uh, like a ribbon that's tucked underneath the X's. So that um, so that's why so you have the graphite right here on either side there. And so that's kind of a neat way to do it. Um, or just, you know, like I did on the original and just not, you know, not do any shading. Either this one, neither one of these are completely done. Um, so I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this one. But, um, and let's see, this, this one we used color and... Uh, had fun with you know going off of the the sides with some of these and, and this if you're following uh, day to day this was yesterday's tangle um, uh, can do uh, that we did in the in the center because sometimes when you're doing a border it doesn't necessarily uh, take that long to do and sometimes it's nice to pair it with something else I hadn't thought about oh you could just do rows of it and wouldn't that look neat and you could alternate the X's so that way it uh, you know, it, it would look like a tapestry or something, which is one of the inspirations that uh, that Debbie had for this. Um, so anyway, I always like to sh just share just for other ideas. And, um, and yeah, so really neat tangle. And if you enjoyed it, would love to have a thumbs up and, or a like. Feel free to share it. And if you are not subscribed to the channel and uh, enjoyed enough to maybe to see more, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I do post daily, so make sure to, um, you know, set the notifications for however you like them. I personally don't like to have my phone blowing up or my email blowing up all the time, so I always turn them off. And I want I let you know that because <laughs> I would hate to have you say, oh, sheesh, there's that Heather again posting. Oh, oh. I'm just going to unsubscribe. I'd rather have you subscribe and not get any notices. <laughs> so, um, and let's see. Again, I mentioned the description box, uh, information there on ways to connect and everything. And I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover. And uh, again, so excited to have uh, shared and premiered this tangle uh, by uh, Debbie Monero. Monero, excuse me. And um, just so exciting. So with that... Thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.